Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. It is Tuesday, December 29th. I think, yep, yeah, December 29th. So today we're continuing playing with the Hydrangea Haven stamp set, Hydrangea dies, and the accompanying products in the suite. So yesterday we made three cards. This was the first one. I did trim back the ribbons a little bit. Hi Manik, hi Pat, hi Shannon. So this one has vellum over top for that subtle look. And these are actually from the Arrange a Wreath before I had the dies for the coordinate with the set. So they were a bit late coming. This one is that beautiful die cut so it's all color on color monotone seaside spray and I did color the pearls with my seaside spray blends and then this one is one of the sheets of paper has this row of flowers at the top and the bottom so I just cut a piece and made it into a card and I did add Wink of Stella so we're going to be using this set all week today I want to show you a cool technique I saw Tina Zenk, I think her name is. I could be wrong. It's, I think it's, that's what it is. She's a Canadian demonstrator. And I had seen her do this um, stamping technique. It's not really a technique, I guess. So I thought I'd show it to you and we're gonna make some cards that I've, I already went ahead and did it because otherwise we'd be here till dinner time. Um, and then I'll just show you how I'm gonna put the cards together. So what she did is she took a piece of eight and a half by 11 and she cut it down half an inch on each side so it's eight by ten and a half. Oh, my dog Marley decided to join us and then it's kind of like one sheet wonder but a little bit different so we're going to stamp I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it I'm not going to do the whole thing and then uh, you'll get the idea and you can do it if you want so this is the stamp that I told you that I cut the top off. And the reason is, when I first did it yesterday on these pieces, I did it in Sahara sand, but then I couldn't get this piece colored. I guess I could have if I didn't mark, used a marker, but it was driving me crazy. So I just chopped it off. And it would be easy to put back together if you wanted to. You can see exactly where you chopped it and you can just put it together. But I think I'm gonna use it more separated. So these are the leaves and I'm, so what I did is I scored at four and five and a quarter. So these are gonna be my four pieces for my cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with pear pizzazz and the leaf outline. So it has a leaf outline and it also has um, a kind of water color technique for the leaf. Hi Marty and Linda. So I'm just going to do this quickly to show you. I'm not going to do the whole thing like I did. Doesn't matter if it goes over onto the other side. It actually looks cool. So there's my leaves. Then I'm going to go in with Seaside Spray full strength for my hydrangea flowers. My dog never comes in my craft room when I'm on Facebook Live, except for today. So this is full strength. The last one I did was Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, so I thought I would change it up. And you just kind of go around. And then you can do some in the corners. And there are other littler flowers that you can use as well. Okay, now I'm going to use the same seaside spray, but I'm going to stamp off, and I'm just going to do a couple of them to show you. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Because there's not really another color that I like the same. So you just, this is supposed to be like watercolor, so don't fret if you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's all the lines. That's the idea. 
And if you don't like this technique, you can definitely color it with your blends. But that'll take a long time. Hi, Diane. Okay, so you got the idea. And then there is also the fill-in for the leaf. So for the fill-in for the leaf, um, I'm using soft sea foam. So I want it lighter. So I'm just taking the leaf. It's funny because the, the leaf one was separate, but the flower was all together. I did post my new upcoming classes. I have the hydrangea class and the snail mail class. And the hydrangea class has an option to purchase the bundle. And then I throw in some freebies. But the class you will not need the bundle for. Everything will be ready. So I have to be very strategic in how I design the cards. So what I'm doing is this week, of all the cards that I do, I'm going to pick my four favorite. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be one of them. And I'll probably do it in two different colors. I'm going to pick my four favorite, and those are the ones that I'm going to use. Okay. Now, while I have this out, I'm just going to do a couple of the leaves, and then that's enough. You get the idea. So then I go with my darker and just randomly. I'll show you. I added kind of splatters to one of the other ones. And then you would go for the filler with your soft sea foam again. And it doesn't matter. I'm being really not careful. Some of you might want to be more careful. And then you just go through and you fill it all in. Then you cut it so that you have your four pieces. And that's where we'll start with today's project. So I just wanted to show you how to do this. So it is quicker than stamping each section. So you stamp the whole sheet, and then you have four tops that you can use. All right, so we've done all that. Let me get all this ink out of the way. So now I have all my pieces to make my cards. So I'm gonna go from simple, simple to a little more complicated. This new stamp set is a celebration item. Heal your heart, and it's beautiful. Hi, Phyllis. We're in this together, sorry for your loss. Thank you, wish I could heal your heart. I don't know what I would do without you. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. <gasps> oh, you're so beautiful. And I don't know, they didn't know COVID was coming when they designed this, but this is a perfect COVID one. Anyhow, okay, first card. Highland Heather base, I just got my Highland Heather today. And so I simply stamped, sorry for your loss, on here. I'm going to take some linen thread. Is this the one I want linen thread on? No, I'm going to use this one. So I colored some of that crinkle stuff, <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> it's not stuff. And I'm going to tie it around the bottom. So when you're doing a condolence card, you want it fairly simple. So hopefully... I've got enough here. So I'm going to tie a little bow. Yeah, that should be fine. So I use dark, soft sea foam. And I'm trying to do it so that the bow is right here on the base of the flower, which is why I'm way down here. And I can adjust it, but it, it's, it has to be adjusted a lot. It'll get loose. So that looks good. I can add a glue dot when I'm done. So I'm doing four simple cards. And you could wow them up as much as you want because you have your little base. I did find though after I had the base, I didn't want to cover up my main flower, which was causing me some design interests. Well, design, I would go put something on if I, oh, I don't, don't like that because I just covered up my whole flower. Even though there's lots of flowers on it. I don't know, it doesn't bother me when I do it on the designer series paper. Okay. I should have done some, colored some pearls for this one, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna pop a little glue dot, which are backwards. 
on here. So I really want it right kind of on the neck of the flower, which it kind of is. And maybe just a couple of pearls. These are the pastel pearls in the new catalog and they're so pretty. So I'm just gonna do two. Oh, on this one, I actually did little dots of seaside spray, double stamped off. And those are from Peaceful Boughs, which I know a lot of you have. This little dot is awesome. I don't know, I can't. I don't like a lot of white space, so I just felt like I had to fill it up. So that's what I did. So, sorry for your loss. Pretty, pretty card. We'll leave that here. The next one is another simple one. So I used Thank You. And again, I did those little spots and I did soft sea foam and the blue seaside spray. So this is going right on because we're just going to add a purple bow to this one. And like I said, you could add a few more layers or um, add different things to it. I just wanted to keep them simple. So there we have our nice sheer ribbon. I'm going to add a glue dot. And again, I'm going to put it right here. And a couple of pearls. The paper's so pretty, you don't really need to do a lot. I want to say two, but I just can't do it. All right, three. Although I did put two on the last one. Hi, Fran. Yes, Pat, it's a simple idea, but you can just chop it up and make your cards really quickly. And you can see I have stuff that I did in the middle um, coming through on the other side. Anyways, it's really, really simple. All right, next one is another thank you one. And for this one, I'm going to use linen thread. And again, I'm going to try to tie my bow right there. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times. The last one's a little fancier. Not uber fancy though. Some days you just have to do simple. I'm not good at simple cards, but these ones are pretty simple. I challenge myself to do simple cards because not everyone wants to do all the layers that I do. All right, so I'm going to try to aim it right here. I do have it doubled. The trickiest part is keeping it tight while you're tying your bow. That looks pretty good actually. Oh, it's kind of loose. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a glue dot back here. And tighten it up a little bit. There. So it's more or less on my flower where I wanted it. So I'm just gonna put this right here. I did um, tuck it over so it's gonna stay. And now we'll add this to our card. It's a beautiful day here in Ottawa. It's sunny, but it's chilly. But if you're dressed for it, it's nice, actually. The font of the thank you is really, really pretty. So that's a free celebration set. In Canada, you have to spend $60 before tax and shipping which with the new catalog is very easy to do. All right, so there's, oh, I need some bling. So let's add some purple ones. Let's add both shades of purple. Because really there are both shades of purple in the card. All right, 
So three cards, quick and easy. And they're quick and easy and simple to us, but someone receiving this, I think, would think it was really special, hopefully. All right, the last one, I've done a couple of layers. So I started with Whisper White, then I added Soft Sea Foam. So I cut this one down more. And let's add this first. And I'm trying to remember what ribbon I had just thought of for this one. So here we go. So the way this one is going to go, I have a piece of vellum that is, it was a scrap I found, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So I am, what just happened? I believe I put it on that paper. There. Good thing I noticed that quickly. All right, so here's our vellum piece, and I am going to go right over top of that. Then I had found this in my little scrap bucket. You Make Me Smile is a sentiment from the hydrangea set. And then we're going to add this and this and I think yes I'm just gonna put a bow here okay I couldn't remember where I was putting my bow on this one I don't think I had decided yet so this is gonna go to the right because our flower will be to the left make sure that's straight now I know I can put my white glue here and then I'll be able to put a little bit more over here because I'm gonna have the flower on top and the bow on top. But for now, I'm just gonna put it like this. And this was the one that I didn't have, I didn't use the adhesive sheets on so I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit of white glue but this is the one that I stamped it first because I thought that's how this was designed. And you actually don't need to stamp it first, although it's pretty. I just want to make sure it's not over top of my writing. And I went ahead and put some dimensional, little piece, dimension, little strips of dimensional on the back. So you didn't have to sit here watching me do that. So you could whip up a lot of these cards pretty quickly. And like I said, to us, they're pretty simple, but if you don't make cards, these are pretty fancy. And don't forget my trick I showed you yesterday. When you're popping these little things up, do it from the back and poke them to the front. It's way, way easier than going like this and trying to get them to flip up. I know they're going to squish when they go in the envelope, but that's okay. All right, definitely too much white space here. All right, I think the dark purple bow will be too much. I'm gonna try a white bow. Could have done a light purple one. I don't seem to have one here. And if I try to paint or color it now, it'll be, it won't be dry enough to adhere. When it's not dry, A, the glue dots don't stick and you get it all over your fingers. So white might be pretty. It's easy to overthink this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm going to see if I like this one better. What do you guys think? White? or braided linen thread. All right, I'll give you a second to vote. And while you're voting, I am going to add some bling. Thanks, Marty. Oh, wink of Stella. Wink of Stella. How can I 
I forget my Cristela. Okay, we've got white linen thread. I really wish, okay. I'm gonna do exactly what I said not to. And I'm gonna color this. I think this would look really pretty. So you just take your blends and you just go like this on a scrap piece of paper. And the color looks weird now, but it dries lighter. What color did I pick? Dark Purple Posy. I think I want Highland Heather. All right, let's try that. My fingers will be purple. I did remember to put my wipes over on my trolley. So the other thing is, once I've already trimmed it, it's a little trickier to tie a purple bow. All right, not bad. Okay. I don't think it's gonna stick. Actually, the green one would look pretty too. The soft seafoam, because we use the soft seafoam paper. Okay, I like this one. I'm gonna try a glue dot, but I don't think it'll stick quite yet. All right, now we'll add our glue to the base. Now you know how to color your ribbon. That's how quick and simple it is. All right, Wink of Stella. I haven't tried Wink of Stella on this. I think if I was gonna use Wink of Stella for this, I would have had to do it at this stage. So I'm gonna not do Wink of Stella on that one but I will do Wink of Stella on these other ones because it's pretty quick and easy to do. And then you could pick just a couple of little ones to do as well. You could also put little white pearls in these. This is so pretty. And you can see the different colors, even though I'm pretty sure I used the same color. I used Gorgeous Grape for the outline of the flowers and then I used Highland Heather for the inside. All right. So one sheet of Whisper White cardstock, which is now sold out and we don't have any. Luckily I bought a bunch of packs, but we were only allowed to buy two packs. I had happened to have ordered two packs before they told us, but that won't last me very long. Okay, first card, sorry for your loss. Beautiful, soft sea foam ribbon. I think that would have been pretty on the last card as well. Thank you. Again, simple with just the purple ribbon and a couple of rhinestones. Then another thank you for this one. We did the wrapped the linen thread around and again tried to do it right on the stem of the flower and then the last one the little fancier we added the vellum and the um, white for the sentiment and I had white sentiment I was trying it all over these ones but every time I put it down it covered up a flower that's why I decided to just stamp right on the paper I don't typically do that the other thing I don't the other reason I don't do it is oftentimes I do it crooked but these ones actually lined up nicely then we added our die cut hydrangea and the die cut leaves and some bling. Now I've got half Wink of Stella on this. 
so now I have to, now it's bugging me. So I'm just going to go back and add it to a few of the popped up flowers. So I hope you guys are getting excited for the new catalog. If you're already a demo, then you've been pre-ordering and hopefully you got this set. It was the first set that I was really drawn to. Um, we couldn't get it at the first pre-order, but or the pre-pre-order. It's just so pretty. The paper's pretty. This die cut is amazing. And I will say, some intricate die cuts, they look good, and then when you start using them, they're a bit of a pain. This one cuts like butter. It's very easy to use. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Thank you. Yes, I was thinking. At first when I saw it, I thought of the Beautiful Friendship set. And I know some of the cards I've made with the Beautiful Friendship set. I've done my dauber and done the um, flowers in different colors. So I will try that at some point. But for today, I just wanted to show you that little trick with the piece of paper. With the one piece of paper and then you get four card friends. And it, it does make it quicker to, to do when you stamp it all at once. Alright, thank you for joining me today. I hope you try this one piece. It's not really, I've seen people do one sheet wonders and I guess it's kind of the same thing. But this one is a bit different in that you kind of have your focal point on each of your pieces of cardstock for your card. But you don't need to either. All right, thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it if you like or share my videos. I will be back tomorrow, which is Wednesday, for some more hydrangea fun. I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll have to play around a little bit more. I do want to use these little ones that I have cut out. Ah. So these are the big hydrangeas and these are the little ones. And I can see putting these, this is what I was originally going to do, put like a sentiment like this and put some little hydrangeas around the edges. But I don't know. I got sidetracked. Well, no, then I didn't want to cover up any of these images. So maybe I'll try to find a design that incorporates some of these little ones for tomorrow. They would also make a really pretty little wreath. Hmm. And I have an idea for a wedding slash anniversary card using the hydrangea and the cute little metal hearts that are in the upcoming catalog. So stay tuned. Okay, thanks. I do appreciate you guys sharing. And yes, the Wink of Stella. Actually, the Wink of Stella on this one is really, really pretty. And it didn't take that long. Um, it probably looks prettier just on the little petals that are popped up than if I had taken it and done it on the whole flower, to be honest. I think it does look prettier like that. All right, that's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Thanks for joining. Have a great evening, everyone.